Men need to stop taking women on dates. If she wants something from you without knowing you, she's playing you. I wouldn't even you buy her coffee. It. Men need I'm so to done with this stop broth. taking women Get on dates. Get your best friend and take her out of here. You should never take a woman out on a date that you don't have vested interest in and that you're not sure she has a vested interest in you. Hey, I'm glad a woman is saying this because I know sometimes women hear us men saying this and it's like, oh, well, no other women think like that. Well, you got a woman saying this firsthand, right? Because here's the thing. You got to be smart with your money. You got to be smart with your time. The purpose of a date, and I say this all the time on my channel, is for me to get to know you, not for you to get to know my pockets. So early on, if you're not cool with going for a walk in the park or going for ice cream, going for yogurt, things where I'm spending to zero to $20 or to $30, if you're not cool with that, that's a problem. That means you you want me to spend all this money and then I have to hope and dream that maybe I get a second date. So I'm already in a losing position. I'm already losing leverage because of the fact I'm the one that has to pay for the date. I'm the one that got to spend the money and most likely I'm never going to see you again. Stop trying to disillusion her with your money, your resources, your ability to buy her roses and all that dumb stuff. That's not dumb. Disillusion me, baby, all day. <laughs> what has that gotten you? Where, it, where are they? It. Exactly. So stop <laughs> doing it. Exactly. You know, the, the t it's funny because a lot of times men who have money, they do lavish dates because they got it, right? If you if you making 20, 30, 40 bands a month, it ain't nothing to go on a hundred dollar dinner date. But it's about the principle, right? It's about the principle. So also, too, it's dudes usually that have money and dudes who feel like they want to impress a woman because she got a fat ass and she look good. And those two men in those categories, they tend to spend a lot of money on a woman early on. But that's not the, the way you should go. So dates that are expensive, right? When you're talking about the nobles or just when you're spending a lot of money, right? That's reserved for when we when I see that you're invested. You know what I'm saying? When I see that, okay, I can see myself um, having something more with this woman or this woman continuing to be around. That That's reserved for those type of women. So early on for me, if you're not willing to go to the, to the park or you're not willing to go get a smoothie, I'm good. Because the women right now that I'm dealing with right now, for the first dates that I went on with them, one was ice cream and one was a walk in the park. You know what I'm saying? Because that's the purpose of a date for us to get to know each other. Why are you trying to make me spend a lot of money on you early on? See, a lot of times women out here, they like she said in the video, right? Like she said in the video, where has that gotten you? Where has that gotten you? Because a lot of times women will try to make you feel bad that you don't want to take them on an expensive date because they'll hit you with the oh, well, nah, I only do real dates only, serious inquiries only. And it's like, yo, I'm just getting to know you. What's wrong with going for a walk in the park? We just trying to see if we want to get to know each other or not. You're wasting your money. But You're wasting minute, your wait, time. Wait, wait, if you need, wait, hold on, I'm not done. If you want to know if a woman is interested in you for real and wants to not just use you as a meal plan, because let me tell you, a lot of my homegirls are going out with you because they are bored. They don't have nothing to do. They're not over the other dude. Okay. Somebody else hasn't hit her back yet, so she's going out with your stupid ass. So stop taking her. And that's the thing, too. I've been in this situation plenty of times where I... And it's not even going on an expensive date. It could be drinks. And you know how drinks turn into us getting, you know, maybe wings or burgers or whatever, right? And a lot of times, women, they get that free meal and then they ghost. You don't even hear from them after that. That Every time I take a woman out for drinks, I never hear from them again. If I do that on the first date. I can remember in the last six months, anytime I took a woman out for drinks and we end up getting food and, and the bill is over $70, Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm not hearing from them again. I don't hear from them again. So I don't even do that no more. For me, I ain't gonna lie. My go-tos on the first date is a walk in the park, ice cream, yogurt, smoothie. Those are my first dates because even if you're spending money, you're spending under $20. The whole coffee thing, I used to be a fan of that, but I'm not a fan of that because in these coffee places, it's too, it seems too business-like. I'm good on that. So smoothie, ice cream, yogurt, walk in the park. Those are my go-tos. You know what I'm saying? Because it's cost effective. And if a woman doesn't agree to that, okay, I know that you're here for a different reason. You feel like I got to wine and dine you and got to court you. I'm good. I'm not doing that early on, baby girl. No bueno. Out on dates. 
Don't buy her anything. Don't spend a dime. Don't spend a nickel. Don't spend a penny. Go somewhere that is free. And if she is unwilling to go there with you, don't go out with her. Talk to her on the phone. If she wants something from you without knowing you, she's playing you. Hey, and that's a fact. That's a fact. And that's what men, we have to understand. Just like that video I reacted to a couple months ago when the woman was like, I don't understand why guys don't like dinner dates no more. No, because we're, we, because we finally waking up. We, we already know the game. You should know the game by now. See, a lot of dudes who don't know no better, they feel like, oh, you need money to get with a woman. That's not true. You need money to get with a gold digger. You need money to get with a woman who doesn't like you. Yeah, you need money for those type of chicks. You're going to need money for them. Yeah, you're going to have to spend $200 on the first date. You're going to have to go to Bora Bora on the second date. And that's why I can't get with this whole thing of like, I be seeing dudes fly chicks out or chicks debating to the guy play, pay for the travel, pay for the trip. Man, if you don't live under 30, 40, 50 minutes from me, I ain't dealing with you. I'm not dealing with you because now I got to spend money on travel to go see you. I'm good. I'm not spending thousands and thousands of dollars to fly out to go see you because you know I got to fly Delta. So I'm not spending this money to come see you. I don't believe in the whole long distance thing. You got to be short distance. When it comes to the last three years, the women I have had the best success with, we started off not really spending a lot of money. The women, the, the two women that I deal with primarily right now, early on, I did not spend a lot of money. I did not spend a lot of money, but that was purposely designed because the more money you spend early on, the more likely you are to get finessed, to get played. You know what I'm saying? Like, you shouldn't be going to noble dates with a chick you just met last week. You know what I'm saying? Like, you shouldn't be doing that. And a lot of times, women are going to make you try to feel some type of way that you don't want to take them there. Oh, why you don't? You broke. You know what I'm saying? They'll try to shame. Oh, you you must ain't got no money like that. Nah, it's not that I ain't got the money like that. I don't know you like that. I just met you two days ago, and you want me to spend all this money on you. I'm uh, I'm straight. It's the game has changed so much, right? You gotta constantly adapt and evolve your ways. Ten years ago, before day naps came out, when I was like in college or whatever, you can take women out for drinks and you can do different things on the first day, and you don't have to worry about a woman ghosting you. But nowadays, women, what happens is women caught on to men. Okay, I know this man gonna take me out on a dinner date. So I'm going to get this free meal and never see him again. I'm going to go do the same thing with the next dude. And I know every woman out there is not like that. But what you got to understand is you want to move with caution. Earl, I don't care how good she looks. I don't care what's coming out her mouth. You don't take her to no expensive spot on the first date. Like I told you, I'm doing ice cream, smoothies, walking the parks on the first date. I and mean, if it's cold outside, maybe some hot chocolate or whatever. I'm going to figure something out. But I'm not spending a lot of money on the first date. I'm trying to spend. The goal is to spend under $30. If I got to spend under th anything, I'm spending under 30 bucks. Because I don't want to have a lot of investment into this woman. Because a lot of times, the more money you spend, the more invested interest you have in the woman. And the harder it's going to be for you to move on from that woman. And also, like she said in the video, if you want to know if a woman is interested in you, try spending no money. Because that's going to really tell you right there. Try spending no money. And like our friend said, where has that gotten you? When dudes are buying you roses, buying you flowers, whining and dining you. Where has that gotten you? Because what y'all got to understand is a woman already knows how far she's going to go with you after a couple, after a, a two minute conversation. So by the time you're on that dinner date, she already knows if she's going to see you again or not. You can be. You on a date thinking you having a good time. You thinking like, man, I got this in the bag and all these different type of things. And after the date, she ain't trying to come to the crib. Um, she ain't, you know what I'm saying? She ain't trying to be on nothing extra and you never hear from again. And guess what? All you get left with is $150 got removed out of your bank account. You know what I'm saying? So these things I'm telling you, I'm glad that we have TikTok because I can show you guys women saying exactly what I'm saying. You don't spend no money on these women early on. I don't care if you want to take her serious or not. Because that's going to show you what her, her MO really is. Because a woman that is going to finesse you, she's not going to be willing to go for a walk in the park. She's going to make you take her to a rooftop bar on the first date. 
You know what I'm saying? So that's what you got to understand. That's why I don't do the dates and all that, man. I don't do none of that. So like I say on every video, man, we just must continue to put ourselves first. All right, guys, that's my video for today, man. Appreciate you guys for coming over to the channel as always. And until the next time, guys, deuces.